how do you see this one playing out this weekend? You know, to me, um, it, 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 it's going to be if one of two things happen. You know, watching this year's playoffs, which I thought were phenomenal, some great games, the one thing that, that Cincinnati did struggle with was protecting the quarterback. Right. And with this pass rush the Rams have, that could make an immediate impact in the game. But if they can protect the quarterback, if they can run the ball early on, I think Cincinnati can get, slow that pass rush down a little bit. That'll work to, to their benefit. So it's one of two things. If the pass rush is working for the Rams, that could be pretty deadly. On the inverse, if they can run the ball early on and set the tone and tempo and take the pressure off of Joe Burrow early, mm-hmm. I, I think it could be it could go Cincinnati's way. So. so now, you know, obviously you didn't have a shot at Burrow, but you, uh, you evaluate everybody. Yeah. Uh, so what was your evaluation of Burrow coming out of college? We really liked him a lot. We, 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 we believed he had the, he had the mental – ability to, to, to learn graphs, understand right away. Um, and he had, he had the skill set. I mean, you know, you could tell that on tape. Didn't know he'd be there in his second year. But, you know, we felt he was a guy that had that type of, of, of ability, had the types of quality that you're looking for in, in the quarterback. Would McMahon have? Did he smoke cigars too? Did Jim smoke cigars and um, talk I don't think, about you know, his ice and stuff like that, or what? <laughs> like he's doing right now? He, he did. Um, you know, Jimmy Mack was special. He really was a tremendous leader, a guy that you would want on your team because he he's that kind of guy. He's, he's a foxhole guy. You know, you want him in that foxhole with you because Jimmy Mack was a guy that was going to find a way to win, and 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 he was really one of those guys that that I, I think was was the epitome of 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 team guy. Because he did a lot of things for us, and uh, really helped us get to where we wanted to be. Did you see the headband the day he wrote Roselle on it before he put yeah. it on? Did you, yeah. Did you see? Oh yeah, in the locker room. I mean, he had a he had a few of them. He was going to wear. <laughs> what, do you mean he had a, what do you mean he had a few of them? He had a, you know remember he had a couple of messages. He had the one for for, for his teammate and, okay. and 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 that he put on as well. So, you know he 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 Jimmy Mack was 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 a guy that loved having a good time. He always had fun. He really did, and. Um, that was one of the cool things about it, you know. When 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 things were tough, when when I remember one time in in, in training camp, that mm-hmm. was a hot day. It was a brutal day, and it was it was you know we had had like four or five straight days of double days in pads. Um, that's a thing of the past, you know. Yes, indeed. Um, so, I think it was about after the fourth one, and it was it was a hot afternoon, and and so we're kind of going through it. And coach was on us. Dicka was getting after us pretty good, and Jimmy Mack yelled out, "Hey, Iron." What the heck? Why are you getting on the guys, man? It's a brutal day. He says, oh yeah. What do you think? Says, I think you got to let us go in. Take the day, take the afternoon off. And so Dendika just turned around and said, "All right, guys, take it in." He said, "But don't be late for these meetings, or I'll get after you." And uh, that's kind of how Jimmy he would stick up for us. And and it was just one of those things he felt. Now, as a coach, I wonder if they didn't set that up where you know I mean. Kinda, what do you What do you mean? You know, every now and then you you have one of your guys step up and. That way, you know, he's your leader. And, uh, but, uh, oh, yeah, come oh, on. Look at that. <laughs> That's some next level, um, you know, stuff right little, there. Yeah. A little mental warfare. So now you say as a coach, so is on occasion, well, uh, you, this you has get, happened for, for you, or you walk I, up to your guy? Or? I won't say that directly. <laughs> okay. No, I don't want you to give up your, your, the trick of your trades here. Yeah. Okay. But, you know, but, but, but again, seriously, though, the one thing about Jimmy was J- Jim McMahon was to me the, the ultimate teammate. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.